Okay. Uh, next tool I wanted to talk about is the uh, piston stop. And basically what I use this for is I've got a AV7 engine right here. And uh, right here I've got the, uh, the flywheel. So if I wanted to put a wrench on here, I could just use this spark plug wrench. Um, and I want to take this nut off. Well, when I turn on this, it's just going to keep turning the engine over. There's nothing to uh, uh, to resist. I can't... Uh, if, if it's on here real good, I can't just hold the other side of the engine and quick turn it over. So I need something to stick in the spark plug hole to stop the piston from moving. Uh, so that's where uh, this guy comes into play. Uh, just uh, goes in the spark plug hole. And then the uh, the engine can't turn over. So then I can, uh, I can use a wrench on this guy over here. Uh, there we go. And it looks like I was tightening it, but this is actually a left-hand thread. So I'm loosening it up. So that's done. Um, in a jam too. Another thing you can do, instead of using a piston stop, you can just use some rope. And uh, you just uh, feed the rope in the hole up here at the top, and that'll keep the uh, piston from being able to go all the way to the top. The reason I like to use a piston stop over the rope is that sometimes the rope will fray uh, and get stuck in the, in the sidewall between the cylinder and the piston and won't go up or down, and it's kind of got to work it a little bit to get it out of there, so in a jam it's nice, but uh, I like to use the piston stop, so thanks.